After two decades of research that began with the Human Genome Project, producing the first draft of the Human Genome Sequence, researchers have successfully completed the entire gap-free DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid sequence consisting of roughly 3 billion bases. So what's a genome? German botanist Hans Winkler coined the term genome in 1920 combining the word gene with the suffix ohm which means complete set to describe the full DNA sequence contained within each cell. Researchers still use this word a century later to refer to the genetic material that makes up an organism. The genetic information are stored in spatial macromolecules called DNA in the form of base pairs. There are four nitrogenous bases pairs whose combination determines the gene. Every living organism has a genome and the size of the genome varies from species to species. An elephant uses the same form of genetic information as the grass it eats and the bacteria in its gut. But no two genomes look exactly alike. Some are short, like the genome of the insect dwelling bacteria Nazuya deltocephali nicola with just 137 genes across 1,12,000 nucleotides. Whereas some, like the flowering plant Paris japonica containing 149 nucleotides, it's so long that it's difficult to get a sense of how many genes are contained within. Talking about human beings, the human genome contains roughly 3 billion nucleotides and just under 20,000 protein coding genes, an estimated 1% of the genome's total length. The remaining 99% is non-coding DNA sequences that do not produce any proteins at all. Some are regulatory components that work as switchboard to control how other genes work, whereas some other are pseudogenes or genomic relics that have already lost their ability to function. And over half of the human genome is repetitive with multiple copies of near identical sequences. Now let's talk about the Human Genome Project. Human Genome Project was started in 1990 with the main aim of exploring all the genetic information that's stored in a chromosome of a human. When the Human Genome Project first launched in 1990s, the technological limitations made it impossible to fully uncover repetitive genes in the genome. Human Genome Project completion was announced in 2003, but it came with a catch as they were not able to put together all the genetic information in the genome. There were numerous unfulfilled reasons that were too confusing to piece together at that time. It had mapped only 92% of the genes, while the rest remaining a mystery for nearly two decades due to technological limitations. What were the problems encountered during 2003? These repetitive gap regions were like putting together a 1000 piece puzzle of an overcast sky. When every piece looks the same, how do you know where one cloud starts and another ends? Similarly, with near identical overlapping stretches in many spots, fully sequencing the genome by piecemeal became unfeasible. Millions of nucleotides remained hidden in the first iteration of the human genome. With the increasing power of long rate DNA sequencing technology, geneticists are positioned to explore a new era of genomics. Untangling complex repetitive sequences across populations and species for the first time. And a complete, gap free human genome was completed only after two decades uncovering all the repetitive reasons.
providing the first comprehensive view of our DNA blueprint. Now, scientists have finished sequencing the other 8 person out of 100 person and the human genome has finally been fully sequenced on March 31, 2022. Congratulations to all of us. It's really a great achievement. It'll solve many mysteries and untangle many hidden treatments in the future. It'll also let us know how the evolution occurred and what are the basis of cure of genetic diseases. That's all for today. Hope you liked the video. If you do like it, give it a thumbs up and leave a subscription down below. Stay connected for more such news and updates. Till then, made it, made it for you.